Mom. Yeah. I know there's another stimulus check. So? Yeah. And it's 1400 a child. So? So what? What you getting at? Well, it's the second stimulus check, so can I just have mine this time? Do you really think I'm going to give you 1400 I mean, it wasn't supposed to be for you. It's not supposed to be for me. Who is it supposed to be for? Did you file taxes? A child, not a parent. Well, if that's how you're thinking about it, then maybe you, they should have sent it straight to you, but it came to me, so it's for me. You're the oldest person in the house, and you're the parent, so they send it to you so you can give it to us. Okay, so let's backtrack for a second. I bought you and your brother a car. Do you know how much that car costs? How much? 7500 Let's just consider that 1400 It will go towards that for my reimbursement. You understand? The school just sent a bill for your books, fees, and all that stuff they be charging for that. I have no idea. For you and your brother put together, it was $720. Do you have money to pay for that? No. Okay, we're going to apply that fee to that $1,400 as well. Let's, uh, I've been buying you hair for you to do your own hair. Have you given me my money back? Because I consider it borrowing, you know what I'm saying? I am consider it borrowing. Since you say that the money the government sent is yours, then let's look at it like this. What's yours is yours, what's mine is mine. So everything I've spent on you, look at them braces in your mouth. Do you know how much they cost? No. Well, by the end, by the end of the whole treatment or, or, or dental care, for those braces in your mouth, you know how much I would have been done paying for it? How much? A little over $4,000. How about rent? Y'all helping me? Do you know how much I pay for rent? No. Must I keep going? And you was just asking me to take y'all on spring break to, to Indiana Beach. You want to go to Florida? You want to go to Disneyland? But y'all don't have the first penny. Do, that, do you know why they send the money to parents? For us. For y'all. Yes, for us. And I'm going to explain that to you. They know the parents will do the right thing in the interest of the child. And that's you, your brother, and your sister. They know that we will do with the money what's best for you. If we give it to you, what you gonna do? Tell me what the tell, tell me exactly what you're trying to do with one thousand four hundred that I already used on you, but you just don't seem to realize that. But it shouldn't be your concern if it's my money. It shouldn't be my concern. Okay. Oh. And so, also, you shouldn't be so. It's just fourteen hundred. If you go around spending all this money. Fourteen hundred shouldn't mean that much to you, so why can't we just have it? Plus, it's our money, anyways. So if I go around spending all this money, who am I spending the money on and for? Whose welfare am I using that money for? Just mine, or you, your brother and sister? Whose welfare is that money being spent towards? Who? All of us, including you. Including myself, you damn right. I'm taking care of myself too because y'all, who do you guys shopping for me? Do you guys buy me what I need? Do you guys, did you guys buy my car? Did you guys pay for my school fee? You guys buy me all them clothes and shoes in the closet? Do, can you guys afford what I need and want and dream and wish for? Can you guys do that? I'm doing that for myself. Now tell me, that's the part I want to hear. What exactly are you doing for yourself that does not involve me at all or my money? Tell me, what exactly did you do for yourself that does not involve me at all or my money? Some things. 
Like what? Okay. You won't ever understand. Well, if at least you would have told me what it is that you do for yourself that doesn't involve me or my money, then maybe I was gonna consider giving y'all $700 each, but you couldn't even come up with that. And that is exactly the reason why the government gave the money to the parent to do what's best in the interest of the child and the children. Not exactly we don't do anything that doesn't involve you and your money. Mm. We are in this house keeping you company, not letting you pay us. We're not asking to be paid to keep you company. Keep me company? Yes. <laughs> but keeping me company involves me. So that that's supposed to be a favor? Y'all keep me company by making a mess. Look at the dishes in the sink. Y'all keep me company by not keeping the bathroom. Y'all mess up the bathroom without cleaning it. Y'all keep me company by keeping y'all room, your own room, a mess. Y'all keep me company by keeping that laundry room a mess. Y'all keep me company by running around, getting on my nerves, complaining about each other, giving me headache. Y'all keep me comp Y'all keep me company by making me oh I need a new phone, my phone bill. Y'all that's how y'all keep y'all keeping me company with a whole lot of baggage. That's what y'all doing. But I ain't complaining. Because I'm the parent, and that's why they send me that fourteen hundred per child, so that I can ease, it can ease the ease, it can ease all that I'm going through, all that y'all putting me through. Oh, well, y'all keep me in company, all right? No problem. But I want you to understand everything you say. I got a deeper interpretation to that. You 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 don't under you don't understand what they're saying until I explain it to you, and then nothing. You ain't got nothing to say. But I hope you understand why the 1400 per child goes to parent and our kids. Well. Well, nothing. Okay. You still need your braces, right? Yes. You still need roof over your head, right? Yes. You still need vacation, right? Yes. You still need to for me to provide something when you want it or need it, right? Uh-huh. My tea is getting cold. I'm done with this conversation. I think if this was a debate, I already won. I got you fried, roasted, toasted, and expelled. Nambada.